Good morning, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to stage to uh, Antoine Amari, who is our uh, contest director. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this microphone. Can everyone hear me? That doesn't really work, does it? No, it does work. Does okay. Work. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Swerk 2018. Uh, we hope this will be the greatest Swerk edition to this day. In any case, it's the largest in terms of the absolute number of teams. We have 89 teams from all of Southwestern Europe. And we're very glad to welcome you here. So we hope you'll have uh, lots of fun uh, solving the very complicated problems that our judges have prepared for you. And that this will help us select the best teams to represent the Southwestern uh, European region to the World Final which will take place also in southwestern Europe this year in uh, Porto. All right, so the best introduction uh, speeches are the ones which are the shortest, I think. So let me conclude right now. Let's move on to the rest of the opening ceremony. Welcome again to SWERC 2018. And and we are starting with uh, our two guests this uh, morning. We are starting uh, with uh, Gérard Mimi, who is representing our host, Telecom Paris Tech. So please give it up for Gérard, who is, uh, will... Uh <laughs> yeah, I'm very impressed to see uh, this uh, amphitheater so full this morning. It's Saturday, and I've never seen so many students in this amphitheater in my life. So uh, it's a great uh, honor and uh, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to, uh, to this uh, great contest. Uh, uh, today, I'm very jealous actually. I would like to sit uh, beside you and to participate to this contest. I think you have, uh, you have to be proud. You have been selected among the best uh, programmers and I don't say developers. For me, programmers is very different. You are authors, you are writers of programs, so this is very different. <laughs> so today I want, you, I want you to fight, I want you to work hard, I want you to have fun, I want you to go back home and to remember this weekend in Paris that you have not visited. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I want you to bring back uh, this in your, in your memories for a very long time, actually. So let me uh, finish up with uh, asking you to uh, a round of applause for this uh, bunch of uh, three guys here who organized. So you are working only uh, two days, but they work all year long to prepare this event. And I want you also to uh, to a round of applause for everyone who has a dark blue t-shirt who is working around you and uh, giving uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, sweat and work here. <laughs> so those three guys have been uh, very successful to organize this event. Last but not least, they succeed to uh, ask me and to convince me to wake up this morning and uh, to welcome you. And this is what I'm doing. Welcome. Thank you very much, Gérard. Thank you. And thank you for uh, getting up so early uh, this morning. Uh, we have a second guest this morning. Uh, she's coming from the uh, ICPC headquarters, from the ICP Central. This is uh, Veronica, who is with us. And uh, also make noise for her, because she has some, uh, some good speech to share with us from uh, ICPC Central. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And um, first of all, I would like to, be to give a big round of applause to all the volunteers, because the ICPC community were all volunteers based. So everyone who is wearing a blue t-shirt, uh, give a big round of applause to them. And uh, well, I'm <laughs> and uh, if you are uh, interested later on to join the ICPC community as a volunteer, you are more than welcome. Just come and talk to me, and I will explain you what we can do. But today we're here for the competition, and I thought it would be important for you to understand uh, actually that it's not simply about the competition here, but it's much more globally connected. And I'm here today on behalf of the global ICPC headquarters to introduce you a little bit to the global event. Uh, 
um, and hopefully I will see many of you in Porto. So uh, this year we have around four slots uh, for the world finals. So let's hope for that. <laughs> so if we can, can we move? Yeah, just to give you just to give you a brief overview of the community of the global community itself, and you know we're always talking about digital connection, you know. But I want you to feel that you are not only digitally connected, but you are physically connected. Because when you go to the largest companies in the world, like if you want to go to the Google, their first employee was one of the champions of the ICPC, Craig Zilverstein. If you go to Facebook, our guest, for example. Their CTO, the former CTO, was one of the champions from the ICPC. So don't think that it's only about competing here. Make sure to make friends here today because you never know where, will you, where you will meet them again. And uh, some global numbers. Uh, we have actually it's more than 111. It's actually 120 countries competing across the world for the ICPC. Um, then we have uh, more than 3,000 universities, six continents, obviously it's around 55,000 students participating every year and the alumni community counts more than 320 people, uh, 320,000 people. So just think about these numbers and again, uh, when you go, when you compete, n n not only think about competition, which is obviously important, but think about making connections, making friends and uh, meeting each other offside. So if we go to the next side, yeah. So um, we've done a big um, uh, work analyzing where the ICPC alumni go to work and what do they do. So from the um, 320,000 uh, alumni, um, we took a sample of 30,000 people. And you can see that it's all different jobs. So most of them are having, of course, like executive jobs. They become founders and co-founders engineering jobs, uh, research and development. We even have some artists, you know? We mention it just for fun, but it's actually, there are some very famous artists who uh, were previously the ICPC participants. So you never know. And uh, if we go to the next slide, of course you cannot read any of this, but this is, <laughs> just to give you an idea, this is an alphabetic order of all main employers um, of the ICPC alumni. So the top four, they count Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft. But the list is much uh, longer. And uh, if you are interested to apply to some of the specific companies, well, we can help you with it, obviously, by connecting you to each other. And then uh, never forget to mention, um, and again, this is the thing. It's not about winning the competition, but it's part being part of the community. So even if you don't win the competition, you don't make it to the world finals, make sure to mention this in your CV that you are participating here. Because usually when you go to these companies and you get interviews, a lot of people know, and for them it's much more important the fact that you've competed so you were doing some extracurricular activities and you were willing to um, prove yourself and to become the best. So this is all from my side and I would like, of course, to uh, mention and to thank all the sponsors of this event that made it possible. So first of all, the, our host, uh, Paris Telecom Paris Tech. Thank you for hosting us for so many years. Then I would like to uh, thank the global sponsor, which is JetBrains. They're providing the um, tools that many of you know, and you can even use the language Kotlin for the competition. Um, uh, our European gold sponsor, it's a company Huawei, and you can see the representatives here. So if you're interested to have partnerships and jobs at Huawei, you can talk to them directly today. Then um, um, our European uh, original gold sponsors, uh, Locat and Sistran. Sistran is doing machine translation, and again, you can meet all the representatives today and talk to them directly. Don't be shy, go meet them, ask questions. You never know what it can bring. We also have our silver sponsors today. It's Almeris, uh, Facebook, and um, Ile de France, Region Ile de France, so it's um, the region of, of France, of Paris. So again, uh, some representatives, including Facebook, they will be here, and you can ask any questions you want. Just again, I want to encourage you, go talk to each other, don't be shy, and if you have any questions, find volunteers wearing blue t-shirts, and ask any questions you need. And of course, all the best for the competition.
Thanks a lot, uh, Veronica. Thank you. Um, so uh, we had also some slides to present you uh, the SWERC and the ICPC. Uh, before we do that, uh, there is uh, one person we would, we would have loved to, to have with us uh, today. Uh, this, this person is uh, Professor Miguel uh, Revilla. So you probably m don't know him uh, directly. He has been a SWERC director a uh, long time ago. He's also been uh, uh, the founder of uh, the UVA Online Judge, and probably you know this work because when you are training online to uh, do the exercises, you must have seen this uh, website. He has written a book on programming challenges, and we were just wanted to remember uh, of him since he passed away, unfortunately, this year. So uh, I'm sure he, he's also watching us uh, today and checking that you are all uh, doing fine. So uh, we wanted to share a few uh, facts about ICPC and SWERC. Actually, um, I think uh, Veronica has already said uh, a few things. But if you're new to the contest, uh, let me just say a word about how uh, this works. So uh, at the top, you have the world final. We're not there yet, but this year uh, it's going to happen this uh, April, March, April in Porto. And actually, uh, there must be a lot of work. I suppose the Porto team is here and must be already very busy uh, preparing for hosting the, the world final. So we are glad that this year the world final happens in our region. And then just below, as Veronica said, there are more than 500 sites where they are doing this uh, type of region, uh, regional, just like we are doing today. So SWERC is one of them, and there are many other regions. And then probably uh, some of you have been already through local competitions. You had to decide who is coming to Paris in your own university. So all in all, that's a lot of students. Um, <coughs> so this is the figure that you've seen already from Veronica's uh, talk. Uh, there are probably more than 300,000 students at local competitions. It's not really clear because it's hard to count so many people. Uh, at this level, there are 50, 50k people actually, so we are, we are close to 300 here, but in the rest of the world, there are close to uh, 50,000 students. Uh, you have the exact figures somewhere, and Veronica has also shown them. And there were 140 teams last year, the world final in Beijing. Um, a little word about the history of the contest, and this might also tell you why you're working uh, on a single computer with three team members. Uh, the competition is old. It started in the 70s, and back then I think it was on punch cards, so uh, imagine it was not exactly the same uh, type of uh, way to, to program on, on punch cards. And um, the format of uh, three students is there, uh, has been there since uh, uh, 1989. And so when you look at the participation uh, curve, you see that it's going up. Uh, I'm not sure if this uh, is probably not yet like a, a more low, but uh, we are packing more and more students into this competition every year. So you can be uh, proud of yourself to be so many. <coughs> now, uh, some facts about the, the SWERC. Uh, so this year, well, uh, you know where you are. You are at Telecom Paris Tech. Um, we are 49 universities this year and 80, 89 teams, so this is a record uh, for SWEC. Uh, you will be 267 uh, students competing, and in total we are really a lot uh, to, to fit uh, in this room. So yeah, we have more and more teams, and you see that SWEC is doing the same keeping the same trend as, as the global ICPC. Every year there are more teams. Um, we're also happy to have uh, more institutions coming. And in particular, uh, this year we have five new institutions. So congratulations to you. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, <coughs> and we have a, 
A good news for you is that last year we had the surprise to send to the world final uh, university that was never to Swerg before. So don't think that it, because it's your first try, you have no chance. Everybody has his uh, chance at, at, the, at the contest. So welcome to everyone. Welcome to those who are new. Welcome to those who've been with us uh, for a few years already. Um, now, uh, maybe something that uh, you will be interested in. Uh, we we uh, we are gonna have medals for the first teams. So we are gonna award 14 uh, sets of medals: two gold medals, four silver medals, and uh, eight uh, bronze medals. And we are also happy to have with us uh, Huawei uh, because they are going to provide us with many gifts. So uh, it's not just one phone for the whole team. It's uh, actually one for the four of you, for your coach, for the three of you. And Facebook is also bringing um, headsets for the gold winners. So uh, make it to the top. There is a, there's a good, good interest for this. <coughs> also, something new. You've seen that uh, we are not alone on this, uh, on this stage. Actually, you see we've put chairs, but everybody prefers to sit on, this, on the side. But there is one thing that is uh, in the middle. It's this cup. And uh, what we like to do is uh, to award it to the institution that will win the contest. And uh, obviously, you win only for one year. And the next year, you have to fight to prove that you're still the, the best university. So our deal is you can bring your cup if you're the first, uh, win, uh, the first winning team for the, for the year in your institution to brag a bit with it. But next year, you have to bring it back and to prove us that you're still the best uh, team and the best university of SWERC. <coughs> <coughs> A few uh, a few words on the statistics uh, of uh, Swerk. So um, yeah, there there have there are some names that are coming back a lot. Uh, so it's your challenge to to change uh, this table for for this year. Um, as I said, we are uh, we are growing region. So we had a very nice surprise when we attended the world final last year. Uh, so far, we usually were sending one or two teams at the world final, and since we are growing and we're growing even more than other regions, uh, we've had some more slots at the world final. So we were happy to send uh, three teams at the at the world final uh, last year. And if Veronica is correct, uh, this is going to continue for this year. But we as a local organizer are not uh, into the secrets of gods of the ICPC, so I cannot make promise here. Um, some pictures. This is just uh, for you to, to be jealous of those who's, who've been to Beijing. Uh, yeah, they're not super great, but yeah, <laughs> you see, you, you see the contest floor. It was a big, uh, it was a big, uh, a big event in held in Beijing, and they did well organizing this. Um, also, some word uh, about the results. So, unfortunately, we've not sent so many Swerk teams to the very top of the world final, but there's a good news there. Uh, usually. Uh, Usually you guys are doing quite well. You see uh, last year there were 140 teams and uh, all of you were really in the first top. So this means that when you're fighting at the SWERC here, you're already fighting with uh, teams that are really strong and it's hard uh, in our region to get to the, to the final. And again, congr congratulations to those teams that uh, have represented us uh, last year at the world final. <coughs> Uh, this is all for my presentation on the on the Swerk facts. Uh, just a few words about practical things. Um, so first, we hope that we wish that everyone feels good here. Uh, you're here to have fun, not to to be annoyed to be in Paris. So uh, just bring your good spirit, and everything will be will be good. Uh, we need you for the whole event. So uh, well, we need you for the talk this morning this afternoon the, pr the practice and obviously tomorrow for the, for the competition. 
uh, if you are not attending to the banquet and we don't have this information, meaning that on your badge we are uh, giving you a seat for the banquet, just let us know so that we can, uh, well, the seats are reserved, but we can probably try to find some students from the, the video club uh, that will come with us tonight. Um, there is a color code. I think it's obvious. If you're yellow, this means you're a contestant. If you're green, this means you're a coach. And as for us, we are in blue for the organizers and red for the judges. Um, a word about the shuttle. We, we are going to try to respect uh, what we've said uh, regarding time. Uh, so help us with this uh, by being also on time. And you've seen that we are many, so it takes time to move to, the, to, the, to, all, to all the different places. Uh, what's important is for tomorrow, uh, it, takes us, it takes us about 10 minutes to check that everybody is in the, uh, in the labs, that everybody uh, has uh, found this computer, that everybody is working. So we are not going to allow you to enter uh, 10 minutes in the last 10 minutes before the contest uh, starts. So tomorrow, eight well, even before, but 8.50, after 8.50, you cannot enter the, the contest floor anymore. And the banquet is the same. It's, uh, it's at the table, so if you're not there when they are serving food, well, no food for you, too bad. Uh, as we said already, we have uh, the joy of uh, having our sponsors uh, with us in the entrance hall. So whenever you have free time, meaning during the coffee breaks, during the lunch breaks, uh, just go see them, have a chat with them. They have uh, internship offers, they have job offers maybe, or they just want to know you. And the best way to discover this is by going to talk with them. So uh, really uh, use your time here to, to chat with them. Um, we need your, uh, well, we need your picture, uh, your team picture. You've seen that there's a studio, photo studio in the entrance. If it's not yet done, you can still have your team uh, photographed uh, during the next coffee break. Uh, by now, we should have received all your notebooks. If not, really give them to us because the judges are going to spend their morning checking your notebook. Uh, so we really need them. Yeah, on, th on this, we are missing a few notebooks. Uh, so if you haven't given th them to us now, gi give them to us. You can uh, go quickly uh, out of the room and back again. Uh, the uh, volunteers are waiting for the notebooks in room E200, and we really need them uh, urgently. So this was our chief judge, uh, Pierre, so better behave with him. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you should have your t-shirts and your badges. Uh, so, uh, for just uh, seeing who you are, we need you to wear uh, your badges all the time. T-shirts are recommended for today. Tomorrow, this is how we're going to be sure that you're a contestant. So, for tomorrow, you have to bring your yellow uh, T-shirt, and this is how we visually uh, know that you're a contestant. Uh, there, there are security checks uh, at the entrance. Well, you've seen this already. If you have bags and jackets that you want to leave, there is a second auditorium uh, right below. So it's the one that you can enter uh, around the, the photo booth, the, the photo studio. There are two doors and you can leave your, your stuff uh, there. Uh, and when we are going to meet, as we are going to be many, just, well, we, we've tried to pack everyone in this room. So please use your, your seats and don't stay in the, in the um, in the line so that the the volunteers can can pass uh, during the talks uh, also a word about the um, when we are open so the school will close to today and uh, tomorrow at six there is a second uh, exit if you're trapped in the school but this is uh, this is our time and uh, we have a few rooms uh, for us so uh, you've seen the entrance hall you've seen this auditorium for the talks uh, we have a room la like last year, it's the same one for the coaches uh, when the contestants are doing the, the competition. Uh, and as I said already, you can leave your uh, bags, uh, jackets, and so on in the secondary audit auditorium that is uh, one floor below us, uh, below where we stand right now. Uh, if you need Wi-Fi, well, go on the internet to check how it works. Uh, no, there's a printed uh, there's <laughs> printed information in your leaflet, and you should have probably uh, an EduRoom uh, ID from your own university, so it should work fine here. 
uh, for your friends and for the coaches uh, while the contestants are going to do the contest. There's going to be uh, uh, an open public uh, version of the contest. So you have the address here. If you're a coach, we have already prepared uh, logging uh, for you. So we are going to deliver this uh, this afternoon when you need them. And uh, yeah, share with friends. You can also check online uh, what's the scoreboard and during the contest see uh, who is progressing uh, towards the resolutions of the exercises. Uh, that's, that's it. Uh, I think we've been through this. Thanks again to our sponsors. Uh, so uh, JetBrains is sponsoring the global competition. We have Huawei with, with us. Uh, we have Locad and Cistran, we have Facebook, Ile-de-France, Almeris, Telecom Paris Tech, and uh, Criteo that couldn't come this year and probably in Ria. Uh, so <laughs> let's just the contest begin. Um, I need the contribution of our sponsors uh, to, cut, to cut the ribbon. Le bleu, hein, le et bleu. pas le. Il y a une ficelle de sécurité. Ok. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, the blue, the blue here. So five, four, three, two, one. Let's cut. <laughs> Let the contest begin. <laughs>